So things move from too slow to too fast, like right. Hella quick. When you think about people like Kendrick Lamar or Travis Scott, like which one of those guys, for example, would you wanna would you be open to doing a collaboration? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Flashiki TV. Uh, this week, uh, we have the pleasure, and we're being joined by the boy, the myth, the man himself, all the way from South Africa, Chigo. Welcome to Flashiki TV, baby. Hey, Landis, what's going on, my man? Pleasure, man. Pleasure. We finally got you, man. We've been chasing you for a few weeks now, and we finally got you on here. Busy, man. Hey, man, it's been hectic on my side, but I'm glad I could, I could, I could, I could do this with you. Yeah, man. Uh, we we were glad you were able to make time for us. Um, so, um, for those for those people who who don't know Chico, like what? Uh, let 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 them know who you are, bro. Let them know like what you're about, fam. I um. And we're not actually, course, you don't have to give a bio, your biography, just tell the people nah. who, you know. Nah, I'm, I'm Chico, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a youngin' from, 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 from South Africa, of course, Soweto. You know, Soweto. and I'm a, I'm a hip hop. I'm, yeah, I'm actually a hip I'm actually a hip hop artist. And it's just like, um, but fortunately enough, this, I'm a piano sound. It's just something that's been rooted in us from a young age. So it's yeah. just so easy for us to just hop on it, you know. Yeah. But um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a I'm a full package, bro. You know, I don't think full there's anything package. I'm lacking. I don't want to lie to you. I don't think there's anything I'm lacking. Of course, I have a lot to learn, but uh, I mean, anything you want me to be, to be quite right. honest. Yeah, right. just name it. Now I like that. I like the confidence, and um, and what I realized from a lot of artists, the ones who are confident is because they put the work in, so they know what they bring to the table. Is that true? Would you agree? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's like knowing your craft, you know, you know, you know how much you're putting in. So you're definitely going to resemble that, what you put out there, you know, to the people. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, do you, do you know, do you remember the person who actually made the, the dance famous on TikTok? The dance that has South, the whole South African social scene going wild now. to you i do not know how it took off bro this was just something that we were doing like with my boys we're chilling like every single day that's yeah. the, like the dance movie we're doing everybody's just playing around kind of sometimes we freestyle it you know i just happened to just capture it this one time and post it and then i'm not active on tiktok i don't have like an uh, i don't have an active account on tiktok but i find, you find that Every time I put out like something on Instagram, someone takes it to TikTok and it's just it just hits the rocket like from there, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's man, just man. always how it's been. So I don't know. I I I don't know. I don't know who the the actual person who's responsible for that happening, mm -hmm. but whoever it is, I'm 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 eternally grateful. Yeah, yeah. Because like I said, we here and all the way here in Washington D.C. People in New York hearing it in Atlanta, so. I mean, you just got to keep that going, bro. Like, it's going beyond the borders, like you said. It's crazy that you say that, bro. Yeah. It's crazy. Right. Like, like uh, I did not think, like, never, not even my wildest dreams to think that maybe this is something that we play around with would, you know, actually be touching, like, crossing borders like this. It's not something that we had anticipated whatsoever. Right. So you you seem ready for it, though. I have to I have to assume the role, you know, as much as it's unexpected, mm -hmm. kind of like you know, fumble the bag, man. This this is a big one. <laughs> <laughs> definitely can't fumble the bag, bro. That's true. That's def yeah. that's definitely true, man. So how how was uh how how was life before, you know, like the fame came, you know, or the start? How, how are, are your friends kind of treating you differently? Are people, you know, you know, moving differently around you? How how was life before it compared to now? Now, of course, people are going to be a bit like, you know, a bit different because it's like a, it's like I'm not the same guy as much as, you know, you know me, it's like, 
like my life is different now, you know, and I have to like adapt to the change. But it's also a thing of even before everything happened, we we're in a position where like I, I, I question my team a lot. I'm like, bro, like uh, literally a few weeks ago, we, we were like literally stagnant, bro. Things moved from too slow to too fast, like right. hella right. quick. Like, like so you don't even have like you don't even have time to like actually digest everything, you know? Right, All right. Yeah, man, that's, it's definitely a journey. Um, yeah. I'm sure it's been filled with a lot of different changes. It is, I won't lie, but it's exciting also, you know, because you find that even the people that we, we were doing this thing because of, you know, like people who inspired us are now people we, we, we consider as competition to some extent. It's just, like, it's just hella crazy. It's overwhelming to say the least. Yeah, man. Uh, how does Drake say it? What rivals become idols? I mean, idols become rivals. <laughs> That's like, hey, man. It's, a, it's, it's like that. It, it's a weird thing. I won't lie, bro. Like, it's like today I look, I look up to you and I'm like, mm. I appreciate your work and everything that you've done. Like, you've inspired me to that extent. Right. And then tomorrow it's like, you don't look at me the same because, I mean, I'm coming for your bag. That's the issue. So <laughs> it's, it's hella weird, bro. I won't lie, but. <laughs> I just, just gotta focus on I just gotta focus on mine that to be quiet on it. Bro. Yeah, it, uh, it, it's definitely a change, you know. I can imagine it's definitely a change. But um, I mean, how, how does it feel though, bro, to have like the top DJs now, you know, like waffles and you know, people like that, you know, playing your music and and just you know, like to say this the scene exploding. Uh, how, That's how pretty that dope. It's it, it it feels dope, like uh to say it like in the simplest form, I just truly feel like represented, like properly represented, you know, right. such that, you know, as I'm still on my come up, I, I, I won't have the necessary means to actually be traveling around to actually be playing shows like in maybe Nigeria or Kenya or Tanzania. But I know that. Hey, you got to you know, come to Ghana. You got to come to Ghana too, bro. Don't forget us. You got to go to Ghana too. Of course not. No, no, no. It's, it's on the schedule. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll hit you up <laughs> as soon as I have space. Don't worry. But like, but like, but yeah, as I was saying, like to have these guys like, like fully represent us, you know, it's like it, it, it's, it's amazing, bro. Like, it truly is amazing. I can mention them. I can mention a lot actually. But so the mere fact that you don't even have to like ask for it, but like just them genuinely saying, you know what, I, I truly like, I mess with your craft, you know. So I'm gonna embrace it to the world. Right. It's, it's pretty dope. Yeah. 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 You can imagine how I'm with the feeling it must be. Um, so when we when we talk about collabs, right? Uh, like, I don't know if you're one of those guys, you know, who uh, is looking forward to you know working with you know top artists as you come up. But um, yeah. when when you think about people like Kendrick Lamar or Travis Scott, like which one of those guys, for example, would you wanna would you be open to doing a collab with in the future if you know the opportunity presented itself? Now, as of yet, uh, I mean, it goes without saying how uh, everyone is trying to secure a record travel, man. It's like, that's, you know, regardless mm. of the general cases. But uh, right now, I'm still trying to, like, fo bit of, be a bit focused on, like, my, the, the artists in, in our continent, you know. So I'm chasing these guys, your your Remas, your guess, my lips, uh, with his kid, you know, just to give yeah. people more of the African, African, Af African vibe, you know, because it's, it's a sound that's very misunderstood and often misinterpreted. So what better way to actually, you know, um, just do it with them, you know? I think right. I think that'll be, yeah, that'll be amazing. But of course, sure. when I have to then cross over, uh, I think, I won't lie, I think Cesar would sound fire on I'm a, I'm a Piano song. Like, I think yeah. she'd be amazing on it. Yeah, right. you know, you're, yeah, Cesar, I can mention a lot, bro, like, Cesar, I can take yeah. the whole so, you, so you're looking forward to working with more, uh, you know, more artists that were originated from the continent before you go abroad. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Whichever one comes first, really. It's just the middle of, I'm just down to work with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Whoever's cool right. with me, I'm cool with them. Let's chop it up. But like, Game like, plan, let's work with a lot of local guys first before we even like, take it abroad. Right. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, at, with, with this momentum, man, and at this pace, you know, it might have to be sped up, you know? <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Now nah, you yeah. you be the first you be the first person I hit up when I tell you that yo man Drake just called me man we spoke about it man. 
Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> of course. I think I think I even started following you on, on the ground recently too. But um, I mean, I'm sure you probably got a good billing request. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll, I'll I'll send another one. I, but I, um, I, I appreciate I appreciate the lookout, bro. It's I won't lie. Like, I probably won't even see it, but I know my team will tell me that you did. I, I, I'll hit you back. Don't worry. For sure, for sure. No, I appreciate that, man. I know how it goes in the, in the lifestyle. Um, so while looking at some of your tracks, um, just to try to get a feel of you, bro, I was uh, I was intrigued by this one uh, track you had. It was called uh, Red Flags. And, oh, yeah. and it, was, it, it was a dope track, man. Honestly, like just, you know, from how you put it together to the sound, to the melody, everything about it was dope. See what feels like catch A filter at its best Love is something you cannot show me But I'm cozy Kind of fit persona call you show me But uh, I wanted to ask you a two winded question But well, why that title? Yeah. And uh, Rich Flags Yeah, why that title? And the second question is uh, What are some of Chico's red flags, man? Like with the ladies Like what are some of your red flags? <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Oh man, you, you mean, know I was bro. gonna ask, man. Come on, bro. You mean, bro? Um, I why why the title? Now nah, the title was just like before I even like answer this question, bro. It's crazy that you, you actually went back to like that touch on like the, the, the that sound because everyone ultimately often you know everyone gravitates towards the the, the biggest song, you know. And right now it happens to be a my piano song, right. whereas the song you were, like the catalog of which you're asking me about is records that we put out a long time ago. And that's right. hip hop. And right now, hip hop in my country is not in its best state. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, and why um, is that? Our piano is just doing its thing, bro. It's, it's unstoppable at this point, you know? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's crazy, bro. But um, yeah. to answer your question, why red flags? Red flags, hey man, there's so many things that put, I mean, surely you can relate. There's something that someone, right. more so women, they do it and puts you off. You know what I mean? Of course, of course, of course. And what better way to address it than to like vent it over your, your space where you're most vulnerable, you know? Right, Just right. To the people. But what are my red flags? Mm -hmm. Hey man, people say, a lot of them say I don't hit them, I don't, I don't hit them back. Right. Or I ignore them, or I, I I'm inconsistent. <laughs> I'm inconsistent. That one I get a lot. I'm very inconsistent. But hey man, it's fine. They can kick a bucket or something, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> it's all good, yeah. It's all it good. We good in the hood, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, boy. Um, so, but what about what about girls? Like, what are some things that would turn you off about a girl? What are some red flags that you that you kind of look at and you're like, you know what? Yeah, I probably don't got no time for her. What are some things? Um, yeah, there's a lot. Like, I can't. I can't. It's, 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 there's so it's many things I can't even like stop to mention one. Let me think of one. Let me not. Nah, let me think of one real quick. I know it's not. Yeah. Um. Uh. Oh come on. Okay. This the easiest one is I don't like I don't like you know when you when you shows you performing. Mm -hmm. So like you know this person when she's in her space like when your records are playing she you know like right she loses right. it right right but. When you're out in public, like when you're on stage and like you're performing and you can see this person, like I know you, I know you know my music. It's shit like this. Yeah. Like, come on, man. Like, are we here to fucking like sorry? Are we here to turn up or what? You know? Bro, we're grown men, please, please. Yeah, I'm sorry, pardon me, pardon me. But no. yeah, another another thing would uh, would be would be just people uh, someone that's too much of themselves, you know, like. You know, like you could be, you could be the prettiest in the room, but you know, sometimes, just, just humble yourself. Right. Put the camera down. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need a selfie every five seconds. I get it, man. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, can I ask so, you the same question? Because like, are you like? I also want to know what, what, what puts you off. You know. Yeah. No, nah, I don't mind, man. I was just make. I was just trying to make sure you weren't psychoanalyzing every girl that you saw uh, before you, you know. <laughs> Uh, with me, yeah. man, honestly, it's it's one of my red flags is uh, it's and I'm a hypocrite. I'll be the first, but it's time. Oh, yeah. I'm a hypocrite. I cannot stand when I have to like you know sit there at a restaurant or I got to come and pick you up from your house and I got to sit there thirty okay. minutes, like you know. But I'm probably that guy, you know. So yeah, yeah. Uh, 
I can relate. I don't want to lie. I can relate. Like, can it's relate. a common trait. It's a common yeah. trait. Yeah. Yeah. Man, uh, how does a, how does a, how hard it is, or how long does it take for you to kind of write your own verse? Like if, when you're, when you're putting together a project, do you need like, Chico, does Chico need to like isolate from everybody and then do his thing? How long does it, how does that process, how does that process? The, I do, I do need to isolate from everybody, you know, just like, just be one with myself and just mm -hmm. like leave the room in a sense, you know? However, mm -hmm. um, I don't write. I can't write. I can't write verses, bro. I really can't. Yeah. I wish I could. I can't. Yeah. I just freestyle it. Yeah, freestyle. So it's just if you find that sometimes it can just be a clean one take, or maybe it's like a a, a a clean take, but then some things need to be like fixed, and then you know just fix here and there, patch it up, add the ad libs. You know, it's a piece. Yeah. It's a piece when it sounds solid. But in the process, like a lot of guys when I work with them, it's something that they don't understand. But when I'm done, they're like, "Oh, this is tight. Like, yo, this is tight." So. So I don't write like at all. That that's crazy, bro. Um, you know, the only thing I can think about, or the only person I can think about or that relates to is when when uh <clears throat> growing up here in the States, when Lil Wayne was coming up, when Weezy was coming oh, yeah? up, you know, Lil Wayne got that uh that was one of the things that was so intriguing about Lil Wayne was Wayne could, Weezy could go in the studio, put down together a track, leave, and that shit would go on the top of the billboards top 100, and you find out he didn't write it. He was just in the mood. He was in the the flow. So that's kind of interesting that you said that. That's that's it's crazy. Like I mean, the analogy is perfect. It's just me. The idea of me being compared to Wayne is hell of crazy. But in the same in the same light, like how I didn't write the song from Tempela, and then yeah. it's charted like number one in the country, like that things like that. Like yeah. that's that, that's pretty dope because you don't anticipate such things. You're just like doing what you normally do. You know. Yeah. 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 The only thing we got, the only thing we have to do now, we have to kidnap Adele, and then so we can make sure oh, that we get to the top. Imagine Adele on an I'm a piano song, bro. Oh man, <laughs> oh man, oh man, that would be so country. That would be I crazy. Pray, I, I really pray I'm the first guy to make it happen. But damn, Adele yeah. on a piano song like that 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 wouldn't make sense to the world. Oh, Billie Eilish, bro. Like, that's yeah, also that, someone I think I'd, I'd like to kick and chop it up with. Yeah, and I and I like in Adele, she's that kind of girl, you know, from what you can see. She she's very, you know, you feel like she's gonna burn, she's gonna venture off one day and try something like that, you know. But I saw that you you were under all her songs. Like it was her, you on all the, the charts that I saw online. It's like Adele and then you. And I'm like, damn, my man. Yeah. So we just gotta we just have to kidnap Adele, destroy all her music, and you'll be number one. Yeah. Yeah, just press find the delete button. I know Apple Music has it. Just remove it, move, remove the project so the kids can eat, bro. You know. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, but now nah, I would lie. She's doing amazing things, man. Okay. Goes without saying, you know. Bro, what, where do you see Apple? And, and excuse me, I can never pronounce it right. Apple Piano yeah. or Apple Piano? Yeah. Where do you see that in five to ten years? What do you like with the with it exploding in South Africa right now? Where do you see that music in five to ten years? Five, to, I think it's gonna be like a, a a very dominant sound. Like you see how like, the world is heavily influenced by the hip hop culture. Mm -hmm. I, I I see. I foresee that for for my piano because with my piano maybe it's because of the internet, you know. But it's right. very far. Like the, the 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 growth is very exponential, and like in 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 France, like the, the guys are really like doing Amapiano piano there without like any right. Amap any South African artist. You know, they're really right. killing it. Like they're literally killing it without us. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like that alone just goes to show how 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 contagious. Also, you know, the the sound is. I I, I right. really think it's it's just a, it's just a matter of like like artists being able to jump on it properly because I feel like there's a lot of artists overseas who feel like, nah, this sound is too hard. I can't jump on it or not my kind of style. But the moment they get it right, it, 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 it makes sense. Yeah. Man. You know, I had, a, I had a personal question. So I got a few South African friends here in the States. Um, oh, yeah. And, I, and I've dealt with a few, a few, you know, a few of you guys, a uh, few lovely ladies that are... <laughs> that I've had the pleasure of meeting. But one thing I've noticed about South African girls or just South African people, you guys, and I'm an African too, but you guys are like the only African group that just loves South Africa. You guys do not like to travel. Like 
all the South Africans that I know here, they're like, nah, America's bored. I want to go back home. Why is that? Right? Yeah. Nah. Okay, the thing is, I can't compare to any like, other any other place because I haven't I haven't I haven't traveled much. You know, I haven't left the country since I was born. I'm yet yeah. to because of this music, you know. Right. But I think just being just being a South African, we're just so different from the world, you know. Yeah. Uh, as much as as much as the certain the certain norms that we conform to, you know, it's like we still manage to so find out like we just keep to ours, you know. Right authentically so nothing is forced we're not trying to like fake and fake embrace each other it's just it's it's all genuine you know so i I don't know you 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 could probably say the same too about where you are from you know of course of course yeah 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 and a lot of us in the west though in the the western part of africa we we do our best to try to you know look for opportunities obviously because of the social structure and economics in europe yeah yeah. but south africans like most of them that i meet Nah, they 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 talk about just how much they enjoy, you know, the lifestyle and and the atmosphere. And life is not perfect, but I hear it. it's like, you guys are just nationalists, man. Yeah, it's like there's always like we always focus on the the, the light the light at the end of the tunnel, you know. Right. Like it's just how we are. Like we're just too optimistic. Uh, like we're a very optimistic nation. It's kind of shocking actually. You find that we are mid mid like lockdown bro like you can't do anything you can't leave you can't but everyone is just anticipating that one day when we are all going out to go like party and get turned you know it's it's you know it just it's it's it does make sense like it really does make sense the logic behind it is something that no one understands but it's like a protocol it's protocol for us you know yeah Right, right. Yeah. Respect to that, man. I hope a lot of a lot more African people uh, we can take a chapter out of that book, you know. So I like that. Um, I'm not, I, yeah, I I really hope so too. Until I meet like you know people from other nations, I think yeah, that's when I can ha- I can have much to say, you know. As of yet, there's only so much I can say. Okay, that's what's up, man. I appreciate it, bro. Hey, listen, before you go though, I want to ask you a personal question. What is the what is the most what is the most important advice, bro, that you've gotten like throughout this whole experience through your journey? Like what's the best advice that has served you well? You know, it can be in your language, it can be in English, it doesn't matter. What's the most, what's the best advice, bro, that you've gotten that stuck with you throughout the whole process? My best advice, my best advice. Yeah, that somebody's given to you that you received. Oh yeah. Um I was in, I was in, I was in, I was in like like primary school i think you guys call it elementary i was like yeah and my 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 teacher yeah my teacher often said that respect 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 you know so Mm -hmm. at that time i just i was young so i just kept on hearing someone repeat the word respect but what he basically meant was that if you respect me i respect you and that's just all it is and you find that that's just something that's really lacking especially in this music entertainment industry thing a lot of guys don't have respect for each other you know but yeah um, that's, I think that's the best advice I ever got to respect everybody, you know, just as I'm here with you talking to you, for me to have this genuine and authentic conversation is because I respect you and you have the same respect for me. You know what I mean? Likewise, likewise, likewise. Man. Yeah. Of course. of course. You know, and uh, one day we, we, we have the opportunity to get down there, man, um, to South Africa, bro. You know, we're definitely going to be blowing up your phone. But let's, let's stay in up. touch too. Hit me up, man. I, I, I'll make sure that you know you hop on the hop on the elephant, you know, and I'll take sure. you to the shots. You're gonna chill, hey. chill with the shots. Everything's gonna be nice, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, sir, man. I appreciate the hospitality, bro. I appreciate it, man. And from Flashiki TV, we thank you for having, for coming on and giving us your time. And we wish you the best of success. We want you to ball out tomorrow in Durban, you know, or whenever you're doing your thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And keep us posted. Thank you so much, Mike. Have a have a have a wonderful day. All right, bro. Thank you. Bless, man. Take care.